Hey there, my name is Travis Britton, head of content at Buzzsprout. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to get your show listed in the number one largest podcast directory on the planet, Apple Podcasts. All right, so I'm gonna show you how to submit your podcast to Apple Podcasts within Buzzsprout, but this process will work no matter what kind of podcast hosting company that you are using. So just keep that in mind. And as I show you what's in the Buzzsprout dashboard, you'll just do the subsequent steps or the similar steps in your own podcast host. But before we can submit Pod Talk, our brand new podcast, to Apple Podcasts, there's a couple fields that Apple will need, all right? And so if I go over to Podcast Settings, you will see the required fields that Apple is looking for. Number one, you have to have your podcast title. You need to have a podcast description or summary describing your podcast. You'll need custom artwork for your podcast. You can't use the generic uh, template artwork that your host might provide. And the typical rule of thumb is to use a 3,000 by 3,000 pixel artwork file. Apple will also need at least one category in order to organize your podcast within their directory. Uh, the first category is what they use for their list rankings. So if you think about the education category, which is what we've had chosen for Pod Talk, or true crime, or fiction, or sports, whatever your podcast category is, the main one that best describes your podcast, that's what you want to put here. And you can choose up to three, but you need at least one. You also need this artist field filled out. This is the podcast host. So if you're hosting your own show, you'll put your name here. And then just some other details. Do you want all of your episodes listed or just a few episodes listed? What kind of podcast do you have? An episodic podcast or a serial podcast? The language that you speak for the majority of your podcast, website, contact email, those kinds of things. So you will need these details in your RSS feed saved to your podcast before you can submit your podcast to Apple Podcasts. But once you've done that, then in Buzzsprout, all you would do is go to our directories tab and then under Apple Podcasts, click Get Listed. And then one last thing that you'll need before you can submit your podcast to Apple Podcasts is an Apple ID. So this is a login that gets you into the Apple suite of products. Even if you don't use any Apple devices, even if you have an Android phone and use a Windows laptop, you still need to have an Apple ID in order to submit your podcast to Apple podcast. But if you just Google how to create an Apple ID, there's a lot of articles that can help you do that. But once you have all of that set up, then you can click this button to submit to Apple Podcasts. Now, if you're coming from a different podcast hosting platform and you don't have that fancy button, you'll just want to Google Podcast Connect, and that will send you to this website here. I know it says iTunes Connect up in the top left corner. I figured eventually Apple will fix that, but for now, this is what it says. And you're just going to log in with that Apple ID that you have set up. So I'm going to log in here. And if you do this through Buzzsprout, you can see that we went ahead and pulled all of your information into Apple Podcasts for you. If your podcast host doesn't do this, all you would have to do is find your RSS feed and put it into this field. And then you're going to go up to here and click Validate. And that validate button just lets Apple double check all of your data, look through your RSS feed, which is how Apple Podcasts is going to pull new episodes in automatically, just to make sure there's nothing missing, there's nothing that's mislabeled or anything like that. The connection is completely stable before they list your show in Apple Podcasts. But once everything looks good, you validated your RSS feed, all you have to do is click submit. And so here you can see that our podcast was successfully submitted for review. And then once Apple has either accepted the podcast or rejected the podcast, you will get an email letting you know. If your podcast gets rejected, they will typically tell you why, whether that's an artwork file that didn't meet their specifications, or if they didn't like the title for some reason, or if there's something wrong with your episodes, they will give you those details in that email. And then you can just forward that to your podcast host's support team. If you use Buzzsprout, you would just forward it to support at buzzsprout.com and they'd be able to help walk you through any changes you need to make to your RSS feed in order to get your podcast listed in Apple Podcasts. Now, if you're using Buzzsprout to host your podcast, there's one last thing that will help us help you and get your link in your custom website. 
So once you've gone through the process of submitting your podcast to Apple Podcasts, go ahead and click this button that says I've submitted to Apple Podcasts. And so what that does is it allows us to check periodically to see when your podcast has been listed in Apple Podcasts. And when it is, we will pull your custom Apple Podcasts URL and put it in here for you to be able to copy and paste if you want to share it with somebody, if you wanted to create a custom button on your website, we would keep that URL here for you for your convenience. Typically, it only takes a few days to find out if your show was accepted into Apple Podcasts, but it can take up to 10 business days. So be patient. Apple Podcasts typically takes a little bit longer to approve podcasts, but considering it's the largest directory in the world and more people listen to podcasts in Apple Podcasts than any other app, it's definitely a directory that you need to be in. Hey there, thank you so much for watching this video. If you want to watch more podcast videos, click here to subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also click up here to see one of our recent videos, which was, it was pretty fun. We had a lot of fun doing this one. And then this one down here, also a good option. You got, you got two great options, e either one. Just pick, just pick one. It's okay, I'll wait.